Hey everybody, this is Jessica and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use your um, Photoshop layer styles, your Creative Couture Smart Styles for fast and easy workflow and you can accomplish basically everything you can with the main system as well. So an instance that people might like to use the layer styles is just for, for some people it's just an easier workflow and also it doesn't create as many layers so if you have a very complex document you might like using the styles so that you keep your layer and your number of layers down. So in the other video I showed you how to load them up and that you can load up whichever sections you want. They're based in the collections. And uh, I have both print and web styles. So the print ones are so that you can use them on anything that's 300 DPI and the web styles is for web. So it's on your um, anything that's 72 DPI. So the web styles are new for Creative Couture and I just made that as a courtesy to make things easier for those people who are always using, um, who are making things for web and don't want to uh, have to change the size of the style or anything. So just making it better, making it easier. And as you see here, I have, um, well, let me just undo that. I've got the color styles and I've got um, in the thing, you've got gold styles. So the gold are st straightforward, all you do is here's the beginning of my golds and you can just go through here and click the different golds and use um, whichever ones you want. Now um, a lot of these look great in gold but this kind of collection is so diverse and I put lights and darks in there so some things like won't some of these won't really look you might not really like in gold so some of the styles because they're so dark. For example um, I've got, you know, like a lot of these rich glitters look amazing in these gold styles and all you have to do is click. But if you get down to the rich glitters that are the darker ones, well these are really meant for darker colors, um, not so much the gold, but they're on here but you don't need to use them. So you can just pick out your favorites or I'll probably put out a collection of my favorite golds. But I just didn't want to limit you, but they're all in gold if you like them. Um, the rich glitters and sequins look great in gold. I like a lot of the so dimensional, um, the lightly encrusted is kind of wild. Let's see here. Actually, the metal mixes look really cool in gold. So these ones are really super cool. Um, but yeah, some of the dark ones, you might not want to use the gold styles. But you have them there in case you want them. So that's just applying the gold, and all you do is just click. That's easy. I mean, there's nothing to it. You just click. And then you might say, okay, what's up with these, uh, these colors up here? Like this collection starts off with a rich glitter color. Well, basically what that does is that uses the color of your item and puts that style on it. So if I clear out my layer style here, we'll clear layer style. Okay, well, I had this blue text. Well, if I put the, um, these are the smart style. So it's really cool because it uses the color that's already there. So if I click here and click the color style, well, it uses that color that was on my item. So I don't even have to change the color or do anything else. I can just, you know, do my design, pick my colors, and then, hey, I want to add this glitter style to it or something, or a jeweled style. Um, so you've just got all these amazing uh, styles, and you can just click, you know, just touch them and just try all, out all these super fast. So find one that you like. And... Uh, so that's just really simple using the one click styles. Um, but also, if you remember, uh, I have these actions to go with it. So there's the Creative Couture Smart Styles actions. Well, I made these handy actions because it's um, some of these styles are really large. And I made them large on purpose because maybe you want to have these like on a background or something. So you really want to see the design. But so I'm like, maybe I like this design here, but I want it to be smaller. Well, I can use the actions here, scale down style 50%, press play, and that's going to bring that down to 50% or do it again. It'll make it even more refined. So you can get all different, um, with each style, you've got so many different variations. So it's really cool. And there's also a scale up style by 50%. So it's all about automating it and making it super effortless for you. And so some of these, is especially the textile collection here, like this is a really big style and I can just scale that down once or twice and then you, and it starts to look different or you see some different things. Um, the same thing like with this style, the textile collection, it's kind of like based off of a curtain. 
So if I stay, scale it down a little bit and scale it down again, you kind of see some of those striations and that's really cool. So you can kind of play with it and you'll have like, it just basically gives you more options by scaling up and down the pattern. And I did this like smart because if you scale it always down by 50%, it keeps the pattern really crisp. And if you use any other um, uh, scaling down method other than like 50% to, or to 25%, it's going to look um, a little bit fuzzy with Photoshop and ever. This is across the board on any pattern ever. So that just makes it super easy for you to scale it down. And you don't have to go click in here to pattern overlay and then type that in. You can just press play. And then I also have um, an iridescent overlay, which I will just demonstrate that here. So as I mentioned before on my um, the main system, iridescent overlays is kind of meant to be working with the uh, like a lot of the jeweled ones, um, although you can get some really cool effects putting iridescent overlays on a lot of different things. But I'll just take um, my favorite pave here, pave 14, and I'll just add an iridescent overlay. And so I've got an action here, you can just press play, and it adds that iridescent overlay. Now with the styles, it's not quite as, um, what do you call it, non-destructive, because there's just no way, because you can't add two patterns within a layer style. So basically, I just did a little shortcut for you, and I just du duplicated the layer, and then put this pattern overlay, iridescent overlay on it. So you can just click in the pattern overlay here, and you can go down here and find your iridescence and then play with them, and you know, just try ones that you like. Um, you can change the opacity, make it brighter. This one's kind of cool, it's like pastel sort of um, effect, so it's kind of neat. So you can do that, but if you change your original layer, like if it's a text layer or something, you're going to have to um, just run the action again because it just duplicated the layer. But all in all, it's really cool because it just makes things really easy for you by um, doing that automatically. And one other thing that I put in here in action. Now, as I mentioned before, I have all the web action or all the web styles in there. So you can load those up. But say, for example, if like, hey, mainly I work in print documents, just I just use web occasionally, but I don't want to add load all those web styles in. Well, I've got you covered because if I turn this on here and I put, uh, let's say, I go to one of my print styles, say I want to put Pave 14. Well, this doesn't really look right. And that's because I used a print style on a web document, but the action here automatically resizes it right so you can just press play and bang it just does it automatically for you and it resizes that pattern overlay so um, everything in my system is just created to make all your options really effortless and you know I go into why I do them and I go into all the details here but if you see the the reality of it is just really um, just pressing play or clicking on a layer style so it just makes it super easy and effortless for you and I will show you how, why I call these smart styles, because um, just the same as my main system, if I have something like this that's already colored or I'm dragging this in from Illustrator, well, if I go to my styles here and click rich glitter color, it's going to use those colors that are already on the item. And so it's just the fastest and easiest way to click through here and just put all the, try out all these different effects with no time at all. I mean, you couldn't do this. It would this would take you ages, just playing around with your own um, overlays or anything like that. So it just makes it absolutely fast and effortless. And um, another thing I'll show you is that, say for example, I have this. If I draw um, a raster layer here, and I drew this in red, and I pr um, Put one of my styles on it like I'll put uh, a jewel let's see a glitter style on it which that's kind of appropriate so I put a glitter style on this let's make it a little thicker whatever and a lot of these um the brushes are really great because you can like put the glitter style on it and use some of the glittery kind of brushes and just it looks like you know very real not this one this is just whatever but say, so I'll try these different glitter styles on it. Okay, that's cool, but what if I need to change my color? 
and it's not a shape layer or it's not a text layer. Well, that's really easy. What you can just do is double click in here, pattern overlay, add a color overlay. In this case, let's add blue so we can see the difference. And you change this to color. And so that way, um, and you could also maybe play around with the hue as well, depending on the hue or color, whichever you like. He is pretty cool in this instance, but I'll just stick with color. Click OK. So that's how if you ever have a raster layer and you need to actually change the color of it, then you can just do that. So that's the long and short of working with the styles. And uh, hopefully that'll make it super easy and awesome for you. And a lot of people will get a kick out of the uh, all the different options and without having to have a lot of layers. So. It just depends, not like either system is better, like working with the main actions or working with the styles, but it just might suit some people better to work with the, uh, the full system, and it might suit some people to be work better with the style. So I give you all the options. Oh, and one last thing that I will show you here. I do have a little section of no color pavés and jewels, and that's um, just a little quick way to get to the... Uh, the jeweled and the pavés because they look a lot of those they look really good without um, without color so if you have a color here like I had this in like let's change my color to blue well if I do the pavés and stuff the regular pavé uh, it's going to use that blue but I just did this as a shortcut in case you wanted the no color um, the no color look the no color jeweled look so that's all of working with the styles. If you have any questions, just let me know. But as you see, it's pretty much just as easy as clicking the mouse and changing the style. So I hope you enjoy working with them.